when in doubt, grow a mustache out and go to the trailer park because that's where we are now. We've, we, we were, well, Kevin and John and I, not that you know that I'm with these people, and a guy named Jesse that just showed up. We were flying around some church thing. It was boring. Then we went to a random golfing place. Got kicked out by a man in a suit. Uh, you guys flying drones out here? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so by Johns Creek standards, uh, flying drones out here, well, just in this area specifically, is against the law. Um, so it's not against really? the law. Yeah. Well, I, I, I was told that uh, that there were being drones being flown out here, and that you know we can't have it. Oh yeah. If, if you don't want it, that's okay. But it's not against the law. Just okay. to be clear. Okay. I hate men in suits. Now, I have an ice cream. And my day has gotten tremendously better. I'm getting my vitamin D on. About to rip. Good day. It's like 70 degrees out. For the people that understand numbers with C's instead of F's. That's like good. You want to wear a t-shirt, except I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because I have like no body fat at all and it's cold all the time. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about some hall sensor gimbals. <laughs> I thought a quad was coming from my face. However, the vitamin D is just saturating my... Yes. Anyway, it's a hall sensor gimbal. Uh, I I wanted to wait and talk to you guys about those after I had like played with them for a while, because you know one could like randomly give out, and then I'd be like, oh, well, these gimbals are great, and then people would buy them, and then they'd be crap. So I wanted to test them out a lot before I actually gave you a review on them. Um, they're freaking dope. I have no complaints whatsoever. It's the best gimbal I've ever used as far as precision is concerned. It feels the best because I do like that plasticky gimbal feel. Like I said, wow. Um, I flew for Jetty for a while and I had a DS16, which I still do have, which has all aluminum hall sensor gimbals. And I was not a fan of that because of the metal. When it was cold out, it would get like really cold and I didn't like that. And also when you hit the corners of the gimbal, which I do a lot, I'm, like, I, I'm not like John, I don't just fly around and like not hit the corner of the gimbal. I, Literally, go to the corner, that's my stopping point, that's how I control my rates and whatnot. Um, and it was, I didn't like the way that it felt when it was metal on metal, I do like the way that it feels that it's plastic, it's got a little bit of give, do like that about it. And it has the travel of a standard Tyrannus gimbal, I don't know if a lot of people notice, but some gimbals actually have less travel than others, so like the Tyrannus has a lot of travel up and down and side to side. It's more noticeable on throttle. So up and down will have like a crap load of travel. If you go to like a Spectrum gimbal, it's not as much travel, depending on the radio you have. And depending on what other radio you have, like on the Jetty, there was not as much travel at all compared to the Tranus. And I was kind of disappointed in that because I do like that extra travel. Because the extra travel, I feel like, gives you extra resolution. You have more of a range to move up and down for throttle, so you technically have more resolution. So. Anyways, let's get some stick footage. I'm gonna be flying around this here trailer park, and I'll talk about them while I'm flying, or something like that. I don't. Know. I'm gonna make this up as I go. It's kind of what I do every day. Mm. Oh, happy um, International Woman Women's Day. I have my red on. I'm repping. What up? What up? We need more women in FBB. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that one out there. There aren't enough, and the ones that are in it are in it because of their boyfriend or something like that. It's never just like an initiation of where a girl is just like psyched on FPV, which is, I don't know, maybe that should change. Okay, uh, so yeah, gimbals, they're not. I don't know how to talk about the gimbals while I'm flying, other than the fact that you have mad resolution of light 
see how much like I'm on and off the throttle right now, but I'm staying altitude steady. Damn, I can be all like flipping and shit. So I was gonna say, if you want precision, you need all the precision you can get. If you want to tackle small vehicles with little trailers like this one. You gotta have hull sensors. I'm just, I'm just gonna let you know right now. I'm sure that person, if they heard anything, they were wondering what the hell was happening behind their vehicle. Oh my God, where are we? Okay, we're good. Just for the people that are unaware of the fact that sometimes I really don't know what's happening and I'm just hoping that something good occurs before I hit the ground, basically, you know. That's most of the time of flying with Mr. Steve here. You just kinda go, and then you just hope something good happens. Every single day, my whole life revolves around hoping that something good will happen mid-flight. If it doesn't, you know, like it doesn't even matter. You just kinda fly, and then if you explode, you have to walk really far, which I hate, I hate walking. Unless I'm out walking for, like, my own personal health. And when I walk for my own personal health, I typically don't have a mini quad with me. So, you know, this trailer park has been used and abused. I want to do some y'all to the right stuff because it always freaks me out. Ugh. Whoa! Okay, we're good. So, yeah, y'all to the right. Let's see. It doesn't what fuck you diesel truck Anyways, so battery's getting pretty pissed. Let's see if we can go behind these trees. Dude, video's been like perfect the whole day. Well video is like so good. I mean hello, you got to like punch through this V right here. Oh my god, it is so small I will never fit. Oh, I didn't fit and I'm upside down now. So, I'm uh, gonna talk to you guys about Price fight. Price fight. these little nuggets right there. Man. Package that, that they shipped in. You won't touch it. Last oh, night. Oh, yes. <laughs> I gotta like admit, I, it I didn't be. like the feel of yours, but then like filling them stock, I was like, okay, I could probably dial it in somewhere between that and stock. Yeah, I'd so mine. When you get them, they're really, really stiff. Like it goes ka, 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 and like makes all kinds of noise. I have loosened my ten stick tension to as loose as it will possibly go, and it's really, really floppy. Um, but the install is super easy. It's way easier than the Aurora Nine. It's literally they actually went to a machine thread screw this time instead of a oh, stupid God. like sheet metal screw. So there's actually like a legitimate screw, and it is plug and play, so you don't have to cut and solder anything. Um, and it's, yeah, really precise. I, I really like them. I love the way they feel. I did take, you know, when you get them, they're both set up like this. So they're all, they're sprung on both sides. Um, and you just, I took the bar off and made my mode two gimbal or whatever. Yeah, they are sprung. Sir makes a lot status. I, uh, I have no complaints with them at all. They're one of my favorite gimbals. The resolution is massive, like I said. You can go, fa fa fa. And I do think I was kind of like a little hesitant in the beginning about this square. You see how it's like a, a square in there? Uh, instead of the typical like round gimbal thing. I was like hesitant. I was like, oh, this gonna, there's gonna get a lot of dust in there or something. But actually I had problems with dust getting in my other gimbals and it would like cause it to get notchy and, and sketchy. Um, and I've actually had rocks get stuck in my roll gimbal uh, or a roll gimbal and it would cause my rates to be off because it was like that ever so slight amount that it wouldn't go and you'd be like oh right roll and it'd be slower than the left roll so anyways the whole I, I haven't had a problem with it yet and I think the bigger the thing now rocks can actually get inside of the uh, radio instead of get stuck in the gimbal so if you at the end of the day you might actually have some sand in your radio or some rocks um, but yeah, I I like them, and uh, it's a good deal for a hall sensor. The harder thing is finding them in stock. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, well, now they're really going to be out of stock. If they were in stock, they're not going to be now. 
Team I'm Legit sorry. just got some, but they're probably already sold out. Yeah. Well, you'll have to look for them. I'll try to put a link in the description, but I highly doubt I will because who knows we'll have a, who, who who knows who will have them in stock. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this day of talking. Yeah.